card. Um, this pick a card is focusing on Virgo season, which is um, August 23rd through September 22nd. During Virgo season, we have a new moon in Virgo that is on September 7th. And then we have um, a full moon in Pisces on September 20th. Sorry if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. But I'm here to deliver um, Virgo season pick a card. We have three piles again. Um, pile one is the beautiful carnelian. Pile two is the beautiful green adventuring. And then pile three is the beautiful amethyst. So this Virgo season, um, we are going to take a look at the overall energy, the overall theme um, that'll be for you uh, this Virgo season with each card that's right here, depending on your pile. And then we'll take a look into what you're leaving behind in Leo season, um, what you're walking into Virgo season and anything else that may come up and any other messages spirit would like for you to hear, okay? So if you have not already chosen your pile, um, I will give you a moment to do so. While you take a moment to choose, I will take a moment to pray, to connect, and then we'll get into it, okay? If you hear my fan, I apologize, okay? So, with that being said, let's get into pile one. Pile one, welcome beloved, it is Ray. I am back with your Virgo season, pick a card. We're gonna take a look to see what the overall theme is for you this Virgo season, which is um, August 23rd through September 22nd. Um, if you have not checked out the um, Aquarius full moon pick a card that I posted yesterday, um, definitely uh, take a look at that um, for the uh, full moon that is on August 22nd so you can um, see what energy um, is surrounding you as you walk <clears throat> into Virgo season as well because that full moon um, is a, uh, the end of Leo season and the start of Virgo season as well, okay? So pile one Virgo season, you may be uh, focused on your health, drinking more water, eating healthier, working out, um, bec becoming more balanced in your diet or um, eliminating certain foods from your diet, um, certain drinks, certain sugars, choosing to consume more foods of life, um, more water, maybe stocking up on water too, especially since hurricane season is coming. But pile one, you chose the beautiful carnelian stone. So let's take a look and see what your overall energy is this Virgo season. Ooh, okay. So pile one, we have wisdom. So wisdom, um, I'm getting water energy, of course, because this is an aquarium, fish are in the aquarium. Um, so you may be, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or have that in your big three or, you know, a major aspect in your birth chart regarding that. Um, but with this wisdom, um, this is giving me deeper knowledge, of course, because the card is titled Wisdom. Um, but I feel like you, this Virgo season, you're tapping into ancestral wisdom. Um, you're getting uh, downloads and becoming aware of gifts that you have that you weren't aware um, that you had or you may have been aware but you kind of pushed it to the side but you're tapping into your inner, wis inner wisdom more than ever um, I feel like with this inner wisdom energy you're being cautious with the decisions that you, that you make as well um, you're it's like you're you're choosing your higher self you're choosing the higher road with the decisions that you make um, and with doing that it's like okay and am I making this decision based on my ego or what my true heart desires? Um, have I been through this before? If I've been through it before, what did I do before? How did it play out? Was that smart? Should I take a different route? Um, and I also feel like you're getting more into 
the esoteric, you're getting more into astrology, you're getting more into the stars, you're getting more into your birth chart, you're getting more into who you are as a spirit versus who you are as a human vessel. And also with this wisdom, um, because there are um, multiple fish as well, I feel like you may be connecting with people that you normally wouldn't connect with to gain um, more wisdom or to gain more insight. Um, you may be um, connecting with a tribe that you never expected to connect with or discovering, discovering a part of yourself. I think I just said this, but discovering a part of yourself that, you know, you didn't, it's like a, the part of yourself that you're discovering is very, very powerful. And once you discover this, it'll be a shift in your life. It was just 555 on the clock, so it's definitely going to be a shift. Um, but this shift is associated with ancient wisdom and ancient knowledge. Um, yeah. All right. Actually, I want to get more clarity on this really quick before we get into what you're leaving behind. I just want to insight. You may be connecting with mermaids as well, because there's a mermaid in this card. All right, I'm use this deck. Spirit, can you please clarify this wisdom card for pile one and your overall energy this Virgo season, please? in this card as well out of everything that's in this card i've been drawn to the starfish so i'm not specifically sure what a starfish means but pal one look up what a starfish represents um i feel like there's a message for you in there i feel like there's a message in the representation the spiritual representation of a starfish that may be an answer to a question that you've been asking and seeking answers for all right Ooh, all right roots of abundance yes i love this so yeah um this is definitely ancestral wisdom ancestral knowledge you may be um getting into a craft that um or getting uh becoming a part of a project or like i said a tribe that um connects to your roots in a way that you had no idea it's like you're truly discovering your true self through ancient wisdom and ancient knowledge. Like, I really can't put it any other way. I apologize um, about that. All right, so let's see what you're leaving behind in Leo season, pile one. Remove some things. I hope you had a good Leo season. I'm just probably leaving behind the Leo season spirit. So many cards. Let me reshuffle. And I feel like as you discover this inner wisdom as well, um, you're you're replanting, you're refertilizing. Oh, okay. Anything else? Problem is leaving behind us this season. Thank you. So we have all right. So we got four of air reversed, which is also the four of swords reversed. We have ego and we have unity. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> All right, so starting with the Four of Swords reverse for what you're leaving behind in Leo season. Um, in a, inability to make a decision. There's something that you've been pondering going back and forth um, with, and I'm being drawn because this Roots of Abundance is a number two, and I'm thinking about balance. Um, and with this four of air upright, four of air is resting, retreating, rejuvenating, 
um, taking time out, um, but with it being reversed, it's like you're you're leaving behind um, the inability to make a move. It was one eleven one o'clock when I said that. You're living leaving behind an inability to make a move this Leo season, um, and if whatever um, move that you're making, it is detached from your ego. Okay, and with the ego, um, I like to um, compare the ego to the root chakra because um, the root chakra is based on, you know, stability, foundations, um, inner security, um, your safety, and we, a lot of times as humans, we make certain decisions based on safety, security, and stability. Um, but I feel like with this four of swords being reversed and with ego being what you're leaving behind in Leo season, you are making a decision that is based on higher wisdom, higher knowledge, what will satisfy you in the long run versus what is satisfying you, ooh, 11, 11, versus what is satisfying you, what is giving you temporary satisfaction. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. And then we also have unity. Um, that you're leaving behind and I'm gonna read this card. Um, basically, this is the four of swords reversed um, The devil upright and then unity is the hierophant and this says traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends and With this wisdom card is yes, you're going to be connecting with people that you normally wouldn't connect with um, this Virgo season and you're establishing new roots of abundance in the process so with this, you're, you're going through a spiritual ascension. Um, during Virgo season, you are um, removing the old constructs of how you usually operate and move, and you're embracing new constructs of operation and movement um, that are more satisfying to you, that are more satisfying to your heart. Um, you may find yourself alone a lot during Virgo season, um, alone, alone in meditation and contemplation. Um, I haven't even pulled on what you're walking into, but I'm still getting this in this past energy. It's like it's it's um, I don't want to say lingering into, but um, some Leo season energy is is moving into the beginning of Virgo season with you, okay? And um. For others, it's like you understand your path, you understand what's unfolding, you're, you're understanding how the universe is showing up and showing out for you, but your surroundings, they don't understand that. And I feel like there's a lot of confusion in your surroundings, which is why you may find yourself in solitude, okay? Um, let's see what you're walking into. Ooh. Hold on. Get the card step fell. Alright, sorry about that. Let's see what you're walking into in Virgo season, okay? What will Virgo season bring to power one spirit? This deck is so big and my hands are so small. I said that in, in the pick a card I uploaded yesterday, like truly. like you're nervous why are you nervous pile one what's what's does this decision what you're leaving behind what you're walking into does it make you nervous if you are nervous just take a moment and breathe and trust yourself really trust your inner judgment 14 14 on the clock do everything with balance not nothing has to be rushed time is an illusion okay truly time is an illusion all right spare what's pile i'm walking into I'm walking into this for this season. Mm. Okay. Final card. Card. Yeah, you're definitely carrying some energy from Leo season into Virgo season. I feel like these, um, the two Aquarius full moons, well, depending on when you're watching this, the last one was July 23rd, the next one 
is Sunday and today is Tuesday. So some of you may be watching this after the full moon, um, but for those of you watching before the full moon, yeah, I'm gonna take that, hold on. For those of you watching before the full moon, you're, you're in the state of contemplation. You're in a state of, it's like, should I stay, should I go, I don't know, type of energy. Who is that? That's Maya. Even, oh shit, what's the song? You put that thing on me. Best of me. Yes, best of me. Listen to Maya, best of me. I can't let you best of me. And it's like this decision, you know what to do. You know what to do, but you're battling your ego on what to do. You're battling, it's like a battle between your ego and your higher self. And it has you feeling uneasy. It has you feeling nervous because you're like, if I make this move, am I making the wrong decision? If I stay, am I making the wrong decision? Like, and it's like you already know with this unity here representing um, the Hierophant. Like, you already know. But it's like, and then the Two of Swords is right here on the bottom. Um, but you're, you're choosing to try to not know. And you're making this much, much harder on yourself than it has to be. It's like you're you're holding yourself up. You're ho you're holding yourself up from from replanting, from rerooting, from transitioning. When you know that that's what your heart desires. Yeah, there's an offering coming in. I'm gonna keep that for you because it fell out by itself. But let me clarify what you're walking into. I'm sick of oof, 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 oof. Take that. Too many cards, too many cards. I saw the devil though. Sorry, I'm calling out pile two. Like, what's pile two? There may be a message for you in pile two. Pile one, spirit. Pile one. Why does pile one need to focus on the spirit season? Or no, it's, if if you're not drawn to pile two, don't choose it. If you are, watch it. If you're not. Then the message um, for you is you keep putting yourself as number two when you need to put yourself as number one. All right, stop thinking you're the two, baby. You're the one, <laughs> not not the two, but the one. Okay? Yeah, you're you're stressed up. You're so stressed out, my love. All right. What is about to oh, shit pile two? You are not the, yeah. Oh my goodness, the cards are reflecting what I'm saying. Pile one, my lord. Pile one, spirit. What is pile one? The the ones. What do they need to do to shift and transmute this energy? I don't like this energy. Okay, yes, I love that energy. What else do they need to do and transmute? Okay, okay, and final. Thank you, Spirit. All right, yes, okay. Pile one, all right? Pile one, baby. You need to know that you are the one. Leo season had you a little fucked up, okay? Leo season had you all mixed up and lost in the sauce. And as you move into Virgo season, there's a lot of, let me just show you what we, what we got up because you can kind of see from right here, but let me face it towards you. So we have, actually, no, let's back up. What you're moving into, you're moving ahead too quickly. You need to take a moment 
reflex that can also explain this four of swords reverse because you you've been needing to take a moment and reflect and rest but you've been honoring the ego and going 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 and you haven't been properly nurturing yourself so at the beginning i was like you know you may be taking a better care of yourself um feeding yourself more life more salads um working with herbs more um eating healthier um, and taking a moment to rest can be included in that as well as part of self-care. Self-care is rest, especially when you've been through something that is emotionally emotionally draining and exhausting. And you don't take the time out for yourself to truly, you know, replenish, refill your cup. Okay. Um, I'm hearing you need to smell the roses. Buy yourself some roses. Um, if you can, every Venus Day, Venus Day is Friday. So every Friday during Virgo season is a self-love ritual. Buy yourself some roses. Smell the roses. Inhale the energy. Inhale the vibration. And say gratitude for the energy and the vibration that it gives to you. But what you to get into what you're walking into, and then you're, we'll get into your overall energy right here. We have King of Water reverse, which is also the King of Cups reverse. We have the Ten of Earth reversed, which is also the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And then we have Ace of Fire reversed, which is also Ace of Wands reversed. Now, clarifying the King of Water reversed is the Two of Cups. Clarifying the Ten of Earth reversed is the Four of Pentacles. And clarifying the Ace of Fire reversed is the King of Wands reversed. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Whew, okay. And then for your overall <laughs> advice, this, uh, so this is your energy and this is um, these three cards right here is what spirit wants you to, to do, to shift and transmute the energy. But your energy, pile one, is nine of swords, stressed and worried and full of anxiety and depression and things. You also have ten of swords, same thing. Look, look at these two cards. Look at how depressing they are. They're, they're sad as shit, okay? And then this Five of Cups, the reverse, two, 22, 22 on the clock. Um, you're focusing on everything that has gone wrong. And Spirit is saying, be happy. Find joy in the present moment. Find happiness in the present moment. Start with gratitude. The more you have gratitude, the more your vibration shifts. And know that you have hella options. But the options that you're choosing are the ones that are unhealthy for you. The ones that are attaching you to that negative devil tarot card energy these are unhealthy attachment uh, attachments um unhealthy relationships unhealthy habits um unhealthy ways of emo emotionally um healing and emotionally nurturing yourself um i'm seeing you taking a tub of ice cream out of the freezer um every time something doesn't go your way and spirit is saying no this is not the healthy way to heal and transmute that energy um, but you and whatever is not helping you ascend, heal, and transmute, you need to walk away from, even if that's everything in the present moment. And you need to go a different direction. Make that choice. You know the choice that needs to be made. Listen to your higher self. Your higher self has been talking. Your ancestors have been talking, and you've been ignoring. You've been you've been putting yourself in the same cycles. And you're asking for help. You're asking for guidance, but you're not helping yourself. And Spirit is saying the way for you to help yourself is to stop and walk away. And in this situation, it needs to be cold turkey because the way that you're going, it's, it's to self-destruction. It's to self-despise. And like my tone right now is very serious. Like stop playing. It's, you're playing with yourself. You're playing with your life, beloved. Stop. Please stop. Stop. Focus, there are two cups behind you, okay? There are two cups behind her on this card that she's not focusing on. Spirit is saying, shift your focus, shift your vibration. Get out of your head and get into your, your heart, get into your self-love. A new offering is coming in for you. This is what fell out, the Knight of Cups. A new offering is coming in, but in order for it to come in and for you to receive it, you need to walk away from the BS and you need to step into the sun energy and what's best for you and what's best for your inner child. And if anything in your life disagrees with that or makes you feel less than, then it is no longer for you, my love. No longer for you, okay? Whew. 
All right. <laughs> but you have you have this energy here of of um growth, fulfillment, abundance, overflow, whatever you desire, you can manifest. Truly, you can. But you have these powerful manifestation cards reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ten of, um, yeah, Ten of Pentacles is um, upright. That's wealth. That's abundant. That, that's family. That's tribe. That's, you know, um, longevity, okay? And then you have the King of Cups reversed upright. The King of Cups is emotionally intelligent, okay? He is in, in turbulence, okay? In turbulent waters, but still stands strong still stands strong upright but in your spread my love he's reversed so it's like you're not tapping into your emotional intelligence you're not tapping into your higher wisdom and that's why this virgo season your overall focus is your higher self and your higher wisdom um because you've been in this constant you have a uh, five of fire here which is five of wands you've been in, in this constant self-destructive battle and you, you you can't continue to ask for what you desire if you're going to keep making the same unhealthy decisions and choices okay and so um with this four of pentacles as well you you have a lot of courting energy you you don't want to open up to people you you like to stay in solitude you like to stay in a box you like to remain a mystery like that's why <laughs> why why are you why are you so like closed off open up open your heart be open to receiving if if people or a certain person is trying to pour into you stop rejecting them stop pushing them away all right love a new partnership someone to guide you this may be a, a lover if you're in a relationship this may be a new best friend this may be a new business partner a new mentor a new teacher um a new <laughs> A new something with this Knight of Cups and Two of Cups is trying to enter your life. And this is a new love. It's a form of love. Love comes in many forms. Love comes as friends. Love comes as a partner. Love comes as a, as, as a mentor, a teacher, um, a guide. And, you know, it's like for you to receive what the universe and what your angels, ancestors, what God is trying to offer you, this new beginning, this new fiery, passionate beginning that's reversed. You, you have to shift. You have to walk away, my love. Like, I cannot iterate that enough. And then, with the King of Wands being reversed, you have given your power away to so many things that do not currently serve you in the present moment. And a lot of these things have been associated with material wealth, material gain. You know, a lot of people say money, money buys happiness, but that's not true. Money allows you the leisure and the luxury to do whatever your heart desires, but it does not buy your happiness. You give yourself that happiness. You have to make the choice each and every day to be happy, to, to wake up in gratitude, to speak gratitude, to speak life. Even if everything around you seems to be going downhill, you have a choice to choose your reality. Do you want your reality to be the sun or do you want your reality to be this nine of swords, um, ten of swords, five of cups, reverse energy? My love, you, you have to choose, okay? And stop choosing the options that are unhealthy. Choose the options that suit your heart. Um, your heart is, um, I can hear your heart crying out for me. That song is what I hear right now, okay? But a new beginning is trying to be offered. You have two aces on the board reversed. Um, but in order to get this new beginning, my love, you have to make a shift. You have to, all right? Let me see. Oh, my love. It's a lot of energy. Um, I'm going to get into your heart messages this part of the season. Actually. Open this deck first. Spirit. I got you now in pile one, yes. Now I can start calling you because you've been moving like the two and you're really the number one, okay? And it's okay to make mistakes as well. Like, 
with me calling you pal too, if I would have just stopped and restarted, that would have been a waste of my time. Okay, a mistake was made and I kept going. Spirit is saying it doesn't matter what mistakes you've made, baby. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't don't stop. Get it, get it. <laughs> That's what I hear. True. You are a god. You are a goddess. Know who you are. Stop playing with yourself and stop playing with your ancestors. How one Virgo season spirit. your heart wants to be loved and instead of looking for love outside of yourself it wants to be loved by you and then this you need to work with this crystal as well fluorite during Virgo season that crystal just fell so get you some fluorite or if you have fluorite wear that every day if you can for one during regular season that wants to come out spirit is loud with you today pile one what heart messages for pile one during regular season are choose your battles heal and throw chakra all right and then hold on let me pull from the monology deck and then we'll talk about this 3232 look up 3232 pile one there's a message for you there and we have three and two on the board as well spirit what messages do you have for pile one during virgo season Messages for problem in the regular season. Thank you. All right, and we're gonna take a look into your shadow as well. Okay, so we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer, and work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. All right, so <clears throat> starting with uh, let it go, let it go came out first, then time machine. So, whatever is wanting to walk away, let it walk away, okay? Stop holding on to it. Stop trying to make something fit that no longer fits. Stop trying to force something that no longer wants to be a part of you and, and, and your life and your desires. Stop. If something doesn't resonate with you anymore, release it willingly, okay? And it's interesting because I say that and then willing release was on the bottom of this. Um, but yes, you need to let it go and willingly release. Let it flow out. Stop trying to control everything. Going back to the ego card, trying to control, trying to force. And then in this hill card, he's breaking free of the chains, the chains as well. So Virgo season is saying whatever is walking away let it walk away without hesitation. There is going to be a new opportunity for you that comes along. Time machine. This is a three card, okay? There's going to be a new opportunity. It's a, something's going to come back around for you that you missed before. And you have an opportunity to choose this, okay? And this is saying choose wisely. You're going to have a choice to make. Choose wisely. And he's. Um, I'm focusing on the green men here. This is representing the heart chakra. Green is the heart chakra. 
So choose with your heart, not with your mind. And not everything is logical um, in 2021 and beyond. Which nothing is fucking logical, honestly. Um, but with this throat chakra as well, communicate your needs. Um, communicate your needs to yourself and others. Communicate your truth. You need to speak your truth to weed out the weeds, okay? You need to speak your truth to start cutting your grass and see who the snakes are around you. Not only is your energy depleting, you have a lot of negative depleting energy around you and you need to up your protection. You need to speak your truth. You need to speak protection over yourself, your life, your crown, and your mind, body, and soul as well. Um, with this throat chakra as well and work through your fears, stop being afraid, okay? Nobody's going to touch you. If someone no longer wants to be in your be your friend, if someone no longer wants to be in your life, let them go. Fuck them, okay? Because as soon as you let go, you have new opportunities, new roots, new seeds, new people coming in that are abundant, that are fruitful, that are, I feel like these people are, are on another level to where you're trying to be, okay? And they're helping guide you through this process. And they're also going to help you self-heal, okay? Help you break free of the chains to help you tap into your higher self and use the heart to balance out your higher and lower self. And you're going to detach from your ego, lower, lower ways of being this Virgo season as well. And like I said, you have nothing to worry about. Nobody's going to touch you. Whoever wants to leave, let them leave. You are safe no matter what happens, no matter what moments happen. Because when we transition into anything new, it's, it's, it's like a, a tower moment each and every time. So no matter what is happening around you, no matter what is trying to stop you, just know that you're good, you're safe, you're protected. And also, you um, you may have been, you may have realized something cancer season as well that you've been ignoring that's coming back up Virgo season and it's like you have, you have to make a move as well. Okay. But yeah, stand strong and once you make a decision, Stand firm in that decision. Don't fold, okay? Don't fold. All right. Let's look at let's look at your shadow Virgo season pile one. Spirit pile one Virgo season. What shadow aspects of self? It seems like your shadow has already presented itself. Let's see if spirit has something else. Shadow aspects of self will pile one be presented with. Yeah, that fell on my lap. I'll take that. Hiding your true self, okay? You're, you're wearing a mask, okay? Step out of the masquerade, my love. Speak, talk your shit, speak your truth. Stop holding back. Stop playing with yourself stop playing with spirits stop playing with your ancestors um it's time to start tap into your 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 inner divinity okay you are powerful you are powerful but you've been you've been sleeping on yourself which is causing everybody else to sleep on you so wake up to yourself so so the world will wake up to you okay that's simple. I love it when it's short, sweet, and simple. And let me see. Any other messages? I'm going to see what you need to give to spirit during Virgo season. And then we out of here, okay? Definitely, oh, it's a dragonfly. You may see a lot of dragonflies during Virgo season. We have power. Yes. Ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge, power. Oh, I one Virgo season. Final messages. Thank you. I one Virgo season. All right. Anything else? Okay. No beginnings on the bottom. All right. So we have power. Ooh, pleasure. Stand still and patience. I love the blue hair on. Oh my God. So blue hair on on this card and then pleasure in the deer. Okay. 
Del Adir, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun. I'm a drop of golden sun. Yeah, I know. But, okay. So, Virgo season, final messages. There, um, I'm going back to the force was reversed. Um, they, there may, it's like you've been on go, 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 go mode and spirit is putting you in a position of a standstill. If you did, okay, so two, two things. Number one, if in Leo season you were at a standstill, you're coming out of this, okay? If you did not take a standstill during Leo season, you're going to take a standstill during Virgo season. Take it how it resonates. But the standstill is a, a deep moment of reflection, a solitude, of weighing out decisions, 444 on the clock, weighing out the decisions that you made, how in what in what past decisions did you use wisdom, did you not use wisdom. Um, but there's a state of reflection and there's I'm seeing the mirror is being is being shined towards you during Virgo season. There's a reflection during Virgo season. Heavy reflection. You may have Virgo in your um, um, 12th house. 12th house or 1st house. Virgo risings. 12th house, 1st house, or 6th house. Um, shit, I don't know fucking astrology, but hey, that's what Spirit gave me, so let's roll with it, okay? But yeah, um, that's that standstill card. And then with this power, like the more you tap into your, your wisdom, the more you tap into your power, all right? The more you start to make smarter decisions, more emotionally intelligent decisions, um, once you release some unhealthy people, unhealthy things, unhealthy cycles, unhealthy habits, you're tapping more into your power. And this is going to bring you pleasure, abundant pleasure, roots of abundance, pleasure. I love this, okay? But while you're going through this transition, you do need to be patient. So Virgo season is also teaching you patience. If something that you're calling in is not coming in for you, that means there's still something that you need to work on within. So what does your shadow work look like, Virgo season? You're heavily, um, your shadow is presenting itself for real during Virgo season for you to reflect, take a standstill, heal, shift, and transmute. Okay. And let's see what you need to give to God during Virgo season. I'm going to pull three for you because three is, I love the number three. Um, give me a second. My Virgo Venus likes organization. So here we go. Don't mind me. I randomly sing all the time. Fun um, facts about me. But if this is resonating, please like, subscribe, share. Um, yeah. Spirit, what does um, how one need to surrender to you? It's Virgo season. How one needs to surrender to you in this Virgo season. There's one card. What is how one needs to surrender to spirit this Virgo season? And the final surrender. Oh my. This one's flipped over. That was the first card too. That fell out that I put back. Okay. So we have body, clarity, aging. Okay. Body says. Show me divine how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as is. As I started reading this, some of you may be thinking about plastic surgery. Don't do it. Love yourself as you are. You're perfect as you are. Clarity says, let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways. Wisdom. Um, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Okay. And then finally, aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. All right? And, the, and divine Shakti is source, is God. Okay? So, 
surrender aging, surrender lack of clarity, lack of decision made decision making, and lack of self love. Fall more in love with yourself this Virgo season. Make decisions that are based on the heart because this clarity is green. And speak life with this aging. Use like you, you speak a lot of negativity about yourself. You need to speak love and light, okay? Every day, you need to affirm yourself. Stop giving your, your shadow so much light, all right? And give your light more light, all right? And then we're going to end with an af your affirmation for Virgo season. Pile one affirmation for Virgo season spirit. What's the affirmation for Pile? One. I love you guys. And if you um, don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, Monday through Friday, I do Risings with Ray. We talk about the Daily Collective Energy message. Um, right now, well, this week we're focusing on the seven chakras and balancing and realigning. Um, and yeah, come interact. Okay, right, so your affirmation is, I am the author of my story. So yes, it's time to rewrite, revise, Replant, reroot, reaffirm, step into your power, stop sleeping on yourself, and I love you. And I will see you soon for my next pick a card. Um, if you feel called to donate, all of that information is below. Um, again, please like, subscribe, comment. I love to respond. Thank you for being here with me. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. Ashe. Pile two. Hey, pile two. My pile two chose the adventuring. Adventuring, adventuring. Money making crystal. Money attracting crystal. You tapping into your divine feminine pile two. You tapping into your bag as well. Okay. You work from home, pile two. You are you trying to work from home? Okay. Um. We're going to get started. We're going to see what the overall energy is for you in this Virgo season, the overall theme. Let's take a look at what you're leaving behind the Leo season, walking into Virgo season, and any other messages um, Spirit has for you. We're also going to take a look into your shadow as well, okay? Shadow aspects of self that will be presented during Virgo season. But let's get started, shall we? Hold on, I need some water. Mm. So, we have courage. <sighs> so, as I look at this card, you guys probably can't see, but in this courage, it's, it's in a matrix. It's in like a web, right? So with this, you're taking a chance, you're taking a leap of faith, and there's, oh my God, I've never seen this card like this before, the more I reflect on it, but there's the map. So you are moving towards a new destination, and this says, Celia? Celia? You might be taking a trip to Sicily? Shit. But you're moving towards a new destination, right? And this, 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 ooh, this move and this new destination is taking a lot of courage. Um, I feel like you are tapping out of the matrix um, this Virgo season. You're, you're tapping out of the, the norm of doing things and you're taking a new direction, a new route, which takes a lot of faith, which takes a lot of courage. It's giving me a lot of full card energy. Um, and, you know, as you're moving through this, the waters are very, very choppy right here. But on the other side, like in the back, it's calm. So, you know, you may be, you may have already started this transition or you like, um, when I say start this transition, you may have really planned this um, leading up to Leo season and you've either made the move at the towards the end of leo season or you're making it during virgo season okay and i'm sorry for four on the clock when i said that but um 
as you're making this move, like it's you're very you're very nervous. You're very very I don't want to say timid, but there's a lot of unsurety. But even though you're unsure, you're still persevering forward. So um, your resilience and your strength and your your passion um, are, are all igniting during Virgo season, especially courage. Um, and with this, like you may not get the recognition and that you desire from people around you but the universe is going to give you the recognition you deserve you can definitely count on that especially if you continue to persevere on this path that you're feeling feeling called to transition and, and uh, move towards okay so let's see what you're leaving behind leo season pile two i like this energy though and you may, I feel like on this path, like it's it's not a smooth path. It may not be a smooth transition. Um, you may have been planning and coming to roadblock after roadblock, or in this case, you know, the, the rocks are in the way. Um, but, you know, just know that a roadblock or being rerouted, um, it's not a bad thing. Like, literally, it's all connected. Everything happens for a reason. I've been saying that in every every reading that I do, every live that I do, every pick a card. Like, it's truly all connected. And you may not realize why you had those detours now, um, but you will. And you also need to work with um, this stone, Carnelian. Okay, that's just follow the word. That was Powell one stone too, but if you were called to Powell one, check it out. If not, don't. <laughs> Just watch this one. I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> I don't wanna stop this video. I really shuffle these cards because I just use them and they're big as shit. Uh, oh my god. Alright, spirit, what is pile two leaving behind in Leo's season? Thank you. What is pile two leaving behind in Leo's season? Thank you. What is Pile 2 walking into Virgo season? What can they expect? That's too many at one time. What is Pile 2 walking into Virgo season? What can they expect Virgo season? Alright, that flew out. What can Pile 2 expect Virgo season? Spirit. Too many cards. Can I please get one at a time? Thank you. And then, I love it. You just ask, asking you shall receive, you know? So, I mean, how to asking you shall receive. Like, Spirit wants to give you what you want. Asking you shall receive. And the nine of cups came out, nine of water. I love it. Okay. So. Shit. Come on. Okay. Oh, interesting. Hold on, let me clarify this. I'm clarifying what you're walking into. I cannot shuffle about two. Oh my god, I'm sorry. The thicker the cards, the harder it is for me to shuffle. Alright, so. There, four, pal two. Pal two, and what they are walking into and experiencing Virgo season. Let's do it. Reverse for pal two. So. Ooh, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, this one to come out and flipped out and it flipped out upright. Okay, we'll get to it in a second. So what you're leaving behind in Leo season, we have Page of Water, which is also the Page of Cups, Four of Fire, which is also the Four of Wands, Page of Earth, which is also the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you're leaving behind an opportunity that you were offered um, this may have been like a contract um, that you are a part of or something, um, a partnership, a, a lover. Um, yeah, page of earth here, so school. Um, but something that you were committed to, you are uncommitting to, okay? Um, and I saw 555 on the clock. So there's definitely change and transitioning happening for you coming out of Leo season into Virgo season. And what you're walking into, we have the Ten of Earth reversed, which is a Ten of Pentacles um, reversed. We have the Seven of Water, which is the Seven of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Water, which is the Nine of Cups. And I did clarify the Ten of Earth um, with the Page of Pentacles. And the Seven of Water is clarified by the Six of Wands victory. And then the card that was on the bottom that flew out was Death. It was reversed when I saw it, but when it came out, it came out upright. So I'm going to keep that card upright. Now, um, for what you're walking into, um, a Virgo season, it is wish fulfillment. Um, because of this change in a uh, transition that you're choosing um, to make, that you're choosing to uncommit to and move forward on a different path, on a new opportunity of your own. So you're what is, it was something that you were committed to with someone else. Um, that you chose to walk away, you walk, cho chose to walk away from the partnership, move in solitude towards a new opportunity. And this is going to bring you victory with the Six of Wands. It's going to bring you wish fulfillment. But in the process of you getting there, um, it's going to be, you know, some, some turbulence, okay? It's like when you're on the airplane going through turbulence. Um, you may have to take a lot of flights um, since airplanes and turbulence is coming up. Um, but you may have some roadblocks and it's not all going to be smooth spell, smooth sailing. And anytime you have a major transition with the death card being here, like this is, um, shifting everything for you and things that you may have thought will stay intact end up becoming unintact because if you're moving towards something new, like everything needs to be new. All right. Um, but with this seven of water here, you do have options. You, you have a lot of options available to you. Um, and with the options that you do have available, you're choosing the one that best suits you. That will bring you the most victory in the end. And because you are choosing yourself unapologetically, like that's, that's going to be another reason for the reward, um, of the universe. But with the 10 of earth reverse, like this is you're walking away from something that you were connected to for quite some time something that you may have been building yourself you may have had a project that you were working on and that you were really committed to and then you're choosing to no longer work on that project or you may have chosen to collab with some collaborate with someone on a project and you're choosing to back out of that agreement type of energy um and this is really, really good. Like, this is really good. But Spirit is saying, no matter what happens, like, I keep being brought back to the Courage card. So no matter what happens on this journey forward towards this new destination, towards this fulfillment and victory, um, stay ten toes down. Stay strong, okay? Stay strong. Some people are going to beg you to, to not make this move, okay? Or have begged you to not make this move. And it's going to feel like a tug of war with your heart. And Spirit is saying, have, continue to have the courage to choose yourself no matter what. Okay? Very, very short, sweet, and simple. I love it. Um, let's take a look into your heart messages first. messages do you have for pal two during Virgo season? Um, we're gonna 
have fun on your journey. Enjoy the journey, how to. Like, whenever we're doing something new, we always focus on the destination, but we never stay present and enjoy the journey. So, enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, even through the ups and downs. Look at them as another lesson learned, okay? So, we have Seek the Truth, Heart Messages for Power 2. Green Virgo Season. Okay, ooh, 770. Yes, full energy, new beginning. Okay, so we have trust, which is zero, full energy. Um, we also have seek the truth, awaiting results. Um, and these are two sevens. And then you have a seven of cups here. So you may see seven, seven, seven um, a lot during Virgo season, pile two. All right. And um, you also have six. Oh, no, there's. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. Okay. But with this, um, seek the truth and awaiting results. All right. So you're definitely learning patience. This awaiting results is also root chakra energy. So you're definitely um, going towards a new foundation, um, a foundation of inner truth, a foundation where you're able to, ooh, 11, 11 on clock, a foundation where you're able to um, utilize your uh, divine feminine and divine masculine energy as one. Um, your um, with this, you see the roots of the tree going up, uh, going up with this um, awaiting results card. Like you're really, it's like you're tapping out of surface level shit. You're really getting in tune. You're connecting with your higher self. You are definitely going through a spiritual ascension with 777. Um, and you're mastering balance and duality. And with uh, this awaiting results uh, being in between two bushes. And with Seek the Truth, this being between um, two heads, two brains. You're definitely mastering balance and duality. And it's beautiful. Um, truly, it's beautiful. But it is new to you. So, you know, don't expect everything to be smooth sailing. Um because I'm hearing if you expect it to be smooth sailing, you're in for a rude awakening. So adapt and flow. This courage is saying, courage card is saying during Virgo season, adapt and flow, adapt and flow. And don't move backwards. Continue to move forward. Okay. Now let's see what shadow part of yourself is coming out during Virgo season. Spirit. How to, what shadow will they be faced with? Season. Ooh. So it's the temple of my body. Mm. Yeah. And fragmentation, yes. Uh, you may see um, dragonflies as well. This is a dragonfly. Um, but with the temple of my body... <laughs> And fragmentation, it's not funny, but you're you're truly going through a personal transformation, a personal shift. Um, um, you're transcending, like it's like you're becoming this magical divine being. Um, and it's kind of like you're, it's happening for you overnight, but it's not, like it's a process. Um, but the way, what, for what people see, they're seeing like an overnight glow up type of energy. And I, I love that for you, like truly. And it's like, trust your higher self, all of this purple, um, work with amethyst, um, amethyst and carnelian, of course, because I mentioned that earlier. Um, but with the temple of my body, be comfortable in your own skin, be comfortable with the decisions that you're making, be comfortable with the, the moves that you're making, the transitions um, that you're making. Did I just say that? Um, if you're not comfortable with, with the contracts that you're signing, don't sign them. Um, if you're not comfortable in the home that you're moving in, don't don't move into it. If you're not comfortable with with your car that you're trying to get, like don't do it. Like you you trust your higher self and trust the the first gut and the first nudge and pay attention to what's shown to you. Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your energy. Um, but you are having a spiritual breakthrough. A lot of enlightenment is happening for you this Virgo season. Um, I feel like you asked your for pow twos, like some of you may have asked for everything that was no longer serve you um, to be taken away from you, and you're you're about to see shit fall away that you did not expect. Um, that may have been a a, um, a manifestation for you for the one of the Aquarius full moons, either for July, 
the one we had July 23rd or the one we're having on Sunday, August 22nd. Um, but you're going through a divine transformation and there's three roses on her chest as well. So you're creating something new. It's like a um, rose growing out of, a con out of the concrete type of energy. It's beautiful. Like it, it's a beautiful transformation. Truly, truly. Like I, I can't iterate that enough for you. Virgo season is, is a beautifully, a beautiful and transformative for you. And as we approach uh, Libra season, Libras will by Venus, like your self-love is going to be on 10, like truly. I mean, here, how to, what messages do you have for how to during regular season? Thank you. How to messages regular season. Okay. So we have your hard work is paying off and a time to give rather than take. So move from the heart with your hard work is paying off and a time to give rather than take. If you have the means to give, provide, okay? Don't be on, hold on, was the... Did y'all have the, the Four of Pentacles earlier? I don't know. I don't know. Let me get a Four of Pentacles energy, okay? Stop hoarding. If you have it to give, give. Um, affirm everything you give. A lot of people say it comes back to me 10 times. My affirmation is everything I give um, comes back to me 100 times. And it's a, um, a dragonfly, a fire, yeah, dragonfly outside my window. Fragmentation, transformation, 27.9. Ending of a cycle um, and breathe. Take time to breathe out is on the bottom. But yeah, it's time to give rather than take. Give from the heart, move from the heart, operate from the heart. Um, and Virgo, self love, like your self love is main priority uh, during Virgo season. And even though things may seem rocky and turbulent, just know your hard work is paying off. The, the, the shadow work that you've been doing is paying off. The inner work, the inner transformation, it is all paying off. You may not see it just yet, but keep the courage, keep the faith. Um, where's uh, the, this card right here? Trust. Continue to trust spirit, trust your higher self, and all will be well. Like truly, all will be well. And I'm gonna use the bathroom after you're reading. Because my bladder is like, baby girl, you know, my. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I'm gonna get some final messages for you guys. Sorry, I just, my Virgo likes to be organized. I don't like chaos on my table. You know, you know, if you know, you know. If you got Virgo in your chart, you know. All right. Let's see, Spirit, any final messages you have for, whoa. Final messages do you have for Pile 2 during Virgo season? They're going to see what you need to give to Spirit during Virgo season and your affirmation. Okay, okay, okay. smile you have a pretty smile no one ever told you that spirit said wish upon a star oh. all right but let's see final messages spirit what final messages do you have for pile two during the regular season you should get a back massage too Okay, I'm just going to take all of these. All right. So we have Waking the Lion. Oh, sorry. Birds of a Feather. Exposed and Revealed. Ooh, something's going to be exposed during, I feel like it's going to be exposed near the full moon in Pisces on September 20th. Um... 
Let me tell you. This is this is down low. Give me a second. I said I gotta use the bathroom. I keep drinking water. So something's gonna be exposed and revealed in your immediate circle that's gonna awaken the inner lion and it's gonna cause you to boss the fuck up and leave some shit behind, okay? You may some have some intuitive nudges about this already though, but you're waiting on more to be revealed with this exposed and revealed and it's gonna be revealed, okay? Just be patient, just wait on it. I'm here, just wait on it, it's coming, okay? And this is going to spark a fire within, like I'm focused on the, the eyes and this waking the lion, Leo energy. Um, you this Or this may happen like, like the last days of Leo season. Some shit comes out um, regarding someone you, you are close to or a clique that you're close to, something that you're a part of, that you're connected to, that you're walking away from. Is Yeah. This exposed and revealed, okay? And this is 21. This is giving me the world card, the end of a cycle completion. Now we'll simple. Spirit's keeping it real simple with y'all about to. All right, now let's see what you need to give to spirit during Virgo season. Then we're going to see your affirmation. If you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name, oh, it's 111. Um, on the clock, my Instagram name is Divine Butterfly. Butter is B as in Bravo, U T T A F L I. Okay, butterfly is not spelled like the regular butterfly, but the information is below as well if you need it. Um, I do Risings with Ray Monday through Friday. We talk about um, the daily collective energy message, um, ways to heal and transmute if some shit were to come up during the day. Um, this week we're doing a chakra focus so we can go back to the basics and balance and realign. And yeah, definitely check it out. Follow me. I don't have a set time for when I do it. So just turning your post notifications is what I advise people. Okay. Um, spirit, what does how to need to surrender to you during regular season? Thank you. Did anything Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. So we have abundance, true offering, and contentment. Okay. Abundance says, Divine Beloved, please show me how to fully, sorry. Divine Beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and am open to being a vehicle for abundance. True Offering says, may I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from my true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. And then Contentment says, you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Remember, shit, I'm going to start over. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God, okay? So this is just, you know, being patient with the process, step by step, day by day, not rushing it, paying attention to rest re what's revealed and moving accordingly. And this is offering all that you cannot control to the divine. This is you're in true surrender mode. If you have struggles with surrendering before, you're going to learn the true definition of surrender during Virgo season. And just know that, you know, you don't always, like, be open to receiving. And with the be open to receiving card, <coughs> throw chakra, you need to speak up about some things. Speak, out, speak up about what you need, about what you desire. If there's um people around you that can help you with what you're going it's like whatever people you lose they're gonna they're gonna be replaced by people that are more suitable for you and that can help you with where you're going so utilize that speak up drink more water as well um but allow god to use you like you know we are not here just to we're not here to self-fulfill we're here for a purpose we're here for a passion, so it's like it's really time for you, pal, to, to tap into your purpose and passion. Um, communicate what needs to be communicated and be open to receiving. Like abundance is not just money. Abundance is 
a new tribe, okay? Abundance is a new hobby, a new form of creativity, a new form of self-expression. Abundance is being present and having so much gratitude for the present moment, no matter how much society says things are fucked up. Fuck all that, okay? Now, let's see the affirmation for you. And then I'm getting out of here. Pile two, Spirit. What is the affirmation for pile two during Virgo season? Oh, pile two. Affirmation. They daydream a lot, pile two. Stay focused on the vision. Don't lose sight. All right, and that tried to pop out, but it didn't come out all the way. I took it out, and it says... The world needs your magic. That's your affirmation. Every day in the mirror, tell yourself, the world needs my magic, okay? We need you. We need your purpose. We need your passion, all right? Stop holding back. I'm here. You need to li listen to Rick Ross, um, hold me back, okay? These hoes can't hold me back, all right? But thank you for being here with me and pile to I appreciate you. Check out the Aquarius Full Moon. Pick a card if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. If this resonated, please like, share, subscribe. If you want to leave a love donation, my um, information is below. And I love you. And may I come back to you a hundred times. And with that being said, I'm going to use the bathroom and get into pile three. Love you. Hey, Pal 3. My bad, Luz. I had to use the bathroom and I don't like editing my videos and merging because it takes too much time. So, yeah. Sorry, you guys. My shirt is messing up. But hey, my loves. Welcome back to another pick a card. It is Ray with Serenity Creations by Ray. If you have not checked out my products, definitely do so. Speaking of that, let me put on some I Am Oil. But for today's Pick a Card, we are discussing Virgo season. Um, this card right here in front of me is going to tell me what your overall energy is. Virgo season. And then we're going to take a look to see what you're leaving behind in Leo season. And I'm walking in too for Virgo season. Any other messages? We're going to take a look at your shadow. Um, and yeah. Smells so good. Oh my god. Okay. So, how three chose the beautiful amethyst. All right. And, oh, yes. Wonders, miracles. I love it. Okay. I fucking love this. Love this energy. Hold on. My throat. <coughs> Shocker. You may be. Hold on. You speak manifestations, pile three. It's one of your gifts. You're a speaker. I feel like you're a prayer warrior. You speak life. You're a healer. You heal with your words. Your words are breakthroughs in other people's lives. You help heal and transmute 
dark energies and dark shadows into light. So Virgo season, you're working some miracles. Mir like the universe is working miracles for you. You're working miracles in other people's lives as well. I like this energy. You're also like, you're tapping into your higher crown. Because we have a crown and then we have a higher crown. It's like our halo, okay? And you're tapping into your halo. Virgo season. Oh, you might be a Beyonce fan as well. Beyonce's a Virgo, right? I'm hearing Halo play. But yeah, you're definitely wearing a Halo. You're inviting your Halo energy. <laughs> you're inviting your magician energy. You have a magician incense burning. And it was blowing straight on my face for a second. But you're definitely embodying the magician energy. Um, you're tapping into your magic. You're tapping into your inner strength. All right, so when do I, oh, hold on. Like, it's so exciting once you start to tap in. Like, it's so beautiful. It's so exciting. I saw one one. Yeah, you're, you're, and then the strength is 11 on this card. So, yeah, you may see 11 11 or 1 1 a lot um, during Virgo season. And just know that <laughs> some new shit is happening. You're leveling up, okay? You're leveling up on some angel type of energy. Divine angel. I love it. All right, Spirit, what is the <laughs> power three leaving behind in Leo season? This card comes out for every pile. Ten of Pentacles reversed. What is pile three leaving behind in this season? Oh, okay. And what is? All right. Thank you. Spare. What is pile three walking into Virgo season? Oh, shit. Did I say pile two? Pile three. I'm sorry. What is pile three walking into Virgo season? We're going to clarify that. Pile three experiencing Virgo season. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. It makes sense. Okay. All right. So, hold on. Let me clarify this card really quickly. Actually, I'm going to clarify three cards. Then we'll get into the pile three. Here for go season. shuffle today. Don't judge me. <laughs> he wants to flip. That makes sense. Oh, okay. That just fell out on top. We'll keep that. Let's put it on the behind Leo season we have ten of earth reversed which is ten of pentacles reversed ace of air reversed which is the ace of swords reversed and then we have the king of air upright which is the king of swords um, clarified by the two of swords reversed for the ace of swords reversed ace of air and then what you're walking into this is interesting but we'll get into it so we have the chariot reversed Clarified by the Queen of Wands reverse, clarified by the Hanged One reverse, clarified by the Will of Fortune, 
And then um, we have Five of Air, which is the Five of Swords, clarified by the Star and the Two of Pentacles. And then we have Justice, which in this deck um, that I'm using right now, Justice is the number eight. And then we have Strength here as well. And Strength is the number 11, which is usually the number for Justice. Right? So, um, <clears throat> let's get into it, shall we? So, for what you're leaving behind during Leo season, hold on, y'all. I get some organization on the board so I can talk about this clearly. Okay. So, for what you're leaving behind in Leo season, um, this is. It's like collectively, let me just say, collectively, everyone is going through a transition, okay? It's been very obvious um, during these pick of cards. And Virgo season, um, I talked about this on one of my risings with Ray that I did on Instagram. But when we're, um, if you're tapped into the spiritual world, when you go into a new season, like Leo season, Virgo season, Libra se season, so on and so forth, it's an opportunity for a new beginning and it's a new transition. It's the start of a new season to do some new shit, right? And for a lot of us collectively, and I'm speaking on specifically the 10 of uh, Pentacles Reverse because it's come out for every pile. Um, we are walking away. The transition out of Leo season into Virgo season is um, walking away from things that had us disconnected in a sense. Um, disconnected from family, disconnected from happiness, disconnected from joy, disconnected from abundance, like true self-fulfilling abundance without, you know, being depleted in the process. And um, collectively, we're choosing a new decision, which is ourselves, you know, our inner child, um, the legacy we want to leave behind, not the legacy that the world is saying, this is how we need to go about it to leave it behind. We're choosing our own path. We're going our own way. And so the same is happening for you, Pal 3. You're choosing your own path. You're going your own way. Um, with the Two of Swords being reversed, with the Ace of Air, which is also the Ace of Swords being reversed, um, decision-making, um, I'm hearing decision-making and ignorance is what you're leaving behind in um leo season and with ignorance i really don't like that word but it's coming up so we're gonna roll with it um with ignorance is like and i'm focused on ignorance and the two of swords and the blindfold so upright like she's sit sitting um in a state of confusion um contemplation not opening up being closed off um refusing to acknowledge what's being illuminated and with this ace of air reversed um it's like you even though it's reversed the energy is still on the board so you are leaving behind lack of these are third eye blockages and, and crown chakra blockages as well that you're leaving behind but um i'm seeing you're you're leaving behind confusion you're leaving behind bitterness um you are leaving behind like the ways of being that you were taught of being, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, and the king of air, like in looking at this, even though it's what you're leaving behind, this is transitioning from Leo to Virgo season, the king of air. Um, this is being clear on what you desire, like clear on what you desire, not what your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your grandmother, the world, the damn president, it doesn't matter what anyone says, you're clear on what you desire, and what you want to do, um, how you want to fulfill um, things in this in this earth. And with that as well, going back to this wonders card, like you may have been very, very conflicted on your purpose and passion. And moving into Virgo season, you have clarity on purpose and passion. And the more you gain clarity on this, the more it scares the shit out of you. It's like the more you tap into what you, your purpose and passion, the more of your shadow that's exposed and that scares you and it makes you want to um, circle back. Like there's a lot of distractions that's trying to keep you from tapping into the true wonders of your personal power, 
with this wonders card to tap into the true miracles of who you are as a being as a spiritual being first and then human second um <clears throat> And it's like because you have been tapped out of the energy of knowing who you are, of operating your purpose and passion with this Queen of Wands being reversed. Um, this is saying basically you've given, you've given, you've been sleeping on your, your magic. You've been giving all of your power away. You've been staying quiet for too long. Okay. Um, and getting into Virgo season, you are moving forward um towards things that align in your highest divine favor you're pouring it to yourself unapologetically and authentically you're showing up with integrity integrity and authenticity and you're trying to make sure that in all that you do it's balanced um however with the chariot being reversed with the queen of wands and then the hanged one um clarified by the will of fortune as well like you may it may seem like on this journey and transition that you're going backwards um that you're actually not putting your you're putting yourself in a better position but you're actually moving um backwards towards a situation that you don't want to be in and spirit is saying you know no matter what you do do not maintain the perspective that things are not working out in your favor because they always are they are always working out in your favor. You have the will of fortune in your favor during Virgo season. I saw 11, 11 on the clock. Um, so no, like when things get tough, balance that out with the the goodness of fortune, with the goodness of your magic. Um, also, when you're going through turbulent times during Virgo season, this is the time to tap into your power, tap into your magic. See what you are able to do. Tap in, like play with your power. I do it all the time. Like, I've been, my thing lately has been telepathy, okay? And, girl, been telepathic, okay? Um, so, really, like, pour into you who you are spiritually first, human second, how three. All right. Let's take a look into your heart messages. Uh, also, um, with the five of air, not everyone is your friend, pal three. That's what you need to be aware of. With the five of the air, not everyone is your friend. Be very, very, use your, um, use your discernment and use your intuition to see who's wearing a mask and who isn't. Because someone is not showing them, showing you their true self. Okay. What card messages do you have for Pile 3 during the Virgo season? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, focus on your gratitude, Pile 3. Gratitude is the key. Try to make like a ritual of writing a gratitude list like every Friday or every Monday. Because Friday is ruled by Venus and Monday is ruled by the moon. I'd like to see this for Pile 3 spirit. Oh, I like this. Everything's coming together. Heart chakra. You feel alone, but you're never alone. All right. My card wants to come out. Confront your shadow. Yeah. Okay. So we have <clears throat> coming together, feeling alone, and confront. Okay, so this is interesting. Hold on, before I get into this, because these are heart messages, but this is coming out as your shadow. So what shadow aspects of self will probably be presented with? Yeah, that makes sense. Anything else? Any other shadow? Ooh, all right, let's get into it. Yeah, this all ties in together. So we have bride in a cage and revenge okay Whew. oh my god it's one of, one of them all right pile three so wonders you are powerful okay when you are angry you need to be very very mindful of your thoughts because you project a lot all right you could be fucking thinking about some shit 
that pissed you off and then whoever was involved you get his by a car like shit like that like that's how powerful you are you need to tame your shadow confront the dark aspects of yourself you need to talk to your shadow okay honey the shadow my shadow was tested like a motherfucker last week okay and i was so proud of myself i can tell like i've really been working on my emotional intelligence because in situations where I would have went ape shit, I was calm, I was quiet, I was collective. And that was powerful. It was a powerful self-realization for me. In moments where I would have took revenge, okay, I didn't, all right? I kept my swords at my side. And this is what Spirit is saying, baby, your shadow is going to come out and you're going to be tested and something, I'm, and whatever this is, I do apologize, but... It's going to be something fucked up, okay? That's going to make you want to destroy any and everything on your path to get to what fucked you up so you can destroy it. Um, but if you move in this manner, you're going to be stuck in a cage, okay? You're going to be stuck in a cycle. All right, this is giving me, honey, don't, don't go to jail, okay? Don't go to jail over no bullshit that's Virgo season, pal three. Interesting. I've never got a message like that before in my readings, but don't go to jail on some bullshit. Um, and it's like because you're feeling alone, you're trying to sabotage others' happiness. Okay. And spirit is saying, like, even though it may seem like nothing is coming together, working out for you, it it, it is. But you need to have unwavering faith and unwavering inner knowing that it is. You need to tap into your crown chakra. That's crown chakra, the inner, inner knowing. Like, it it seems like I'm not ever winning, but honestly, I'm winning more than a lot of y'all, like, type of energy. You may not see it yet, but I know spirit has shown me, and soon spirit will show you, too, type of energy. Okay? But so when it comes to the heart, release resentment, forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Um, pay attention to what's enlightened to you instead of using what's, What's brought to your attention for revenge? Use it as, as a key that you know you can no longer deal and be in that energetic environment or around those people or person. Okay. Whatever it is, you're gonna find out. Pile three. This is gonna piss you the fuck off. I'm here to tell you, baby, to remain calm. Remain calm. Everything's coming together for you. Know that. When you get stressed out, whatever situation is, come back and watch watch Paul 3 again, okay? And listen to my voice. Be calm, okay? DM me if you need to. DM me on Instagram. I will respond. I will help you. I'm not that type of person. I got you. If you need me, I got you. Okay. All right. So let me see what message the spirit has. So it's like, don't put restriction on your heart. Open your heart. Even if it's hurt, open your heart. Be vulnerable. Miracles will happen when you choose to operate differently and respond differently from how you normally do so. All right, spirit. What messages? Ooh, how three during Virgo season. Bite your lip a lot, pile three. Pile three, Virgo season messages. Your commitment is being tested, yeah, for sure. You're gonna be tested during Virgo season. Any other? It's time to take action. And this action is not revenge. It's it's on a new journey, a new opportunity. Yeah, be bold and make the first move, yeah. Um, once something is shown to you, you know what to do, move accordingly, D don't hesitate. Um, understand that every, every trial, every time you get upset, every time you're triggered, it's a test. So are you gonna pass the test through emotional intelligence? 
and you know you can there are healthy ways of, of outletting you can journal you can go to the gym use the punching bag um, build something okay chop some wood okay but healthy ways like truly truly healthy ways but it's it's time to make a move I feel like you've been this energy may have been festering for some time as well this may not be something new it may have been something that was uh, revealed around the Aquarius full moon and it's been festering inside of you and you're trying to plot on revenge the spirit is saying no you need to tap into your hide itself all right and make a different move and um detach yourself from people places and things that have you in this energetic vibration because that's a test too are you still going to keep these people around or are you going to make a move all right when does power three needs to surrender to you during Virgo season Does someone give you an STD? I don't know why that's coming up. An STD. Okay. So what you need is surrender to spirit. We have health, truth, and love. Health says... Allow me, divine, to be tender and accepting of my body, no matter what ailments I may have. May I always know it's doing the best that it can. Help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form. So if you are having any health issues, Virgo season does rule the health. It does rule the body. So um, definitely look into um, herbal remedies, okay? Stay... Uh, Look into our whole remedies. All right, that's what I'm going to say for now. And follow me on Instagram for more information. <laughs> um, truth says, when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. So, be conscious of your responses. It's being tested um, also when you ignore something for a long time it starts to affect your health um this could be like someone you're dealing with that's unhealthy for you or you know if you go around someone and you start to feel a certain way your body starts to feel a certain way all of that are energetic vibrations speaking to you so pay attention and then we have love it says it's not about finding love you are love itself help me lord to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that i always remember i myself am love so <clears throat> with this this is really embodying yourself as the being that you are um appreciating yourself as the being that you are that you are knowing that you are perfect knowing that you don't have to change anything about yourself like getting your power back is your breakthrough during Virgo season. Um, and I that was a butterfly I just saw, so you may see butterflies. You're definitely going through a transformation <clears throat> during um, Virgo. You need to speak up about something, speak up, speak your truth, but don't do it in a way that's with Ill, Ill intent. Okay, so you need to speak your truth, allow, allow, um. Going back to the divine speaking through you. Like, when you need to speak your truth, um, say a prayer. Ask God to lead and guide the conversation so that you don't fuck up and fail the test. All right, let's see what final messages Spirit has for you during Virgo season. And then we'll get into your affirmation. I think my chair came off. Is there any final messages for Kyle Free during Virgo season? If this is resonating, please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you. If you feel called to leave a love donation, you can definitely do that. All that information is below. May I come back to you and return to you a hundred times. 
Um, but let's see, Spirit, what final messages do you have for Pile 3 during the Virgo season? What kind of messages do you have? Spirit is saying you need to relax. <laughs> oh, so we have ears wide open, great and full, anything else? We have tender embrace. All right, that's it. Okay. 2233, you're mastering yourself. So you may see 2233, master number. <clears throat> but we have tender embrace and great and full, and the ears wide open. And so with these three, three cards, this is, you know, embracing everything that happens I, during Virgo season. Um, listen, pay attention, be aware. This is a time to observe and not act, okay? Any form of acting or, or action that you're taking should be focused on self, um, especially if it's not... So, to... <clears throat> it's a couple of things. Okay, so any action that you're taking should be focused on self, self-empowerment, self-love, embracing the dark aspects of yourself and the light aspects of yourself. Um, this also may be embracing new love because great and full is, is here with tender embrace. And this is giving me new love vibes. So you may be embracing a new love, um, especially with this wonders card here. Um, it's like a, a new love, maybe a miracle that's coming for you. Um, but you, it's easy to miss this um, with the ears wide open, which is why you need to observe and pay attention. Um, really, really listen to your body. Like, do you get, when it comes to a person, do you get that butterfly effect? Re, uh, effect? Like, as I move this card, this is like magical. Do they make you feel magical? Um, should, do you dream about them? Are they in your dreams? Um, do you view them as a god or a goddess? Do you want that in your life? Um, anything that doesn't, you know, feel or seem miraculous to you, I feel like you need to walk away from. Um, but, you know, tarot is pure advice. The energy can always shift at any time. Um, but with this, like, it's like embrace. There's something that wants to be embraced, okay? Um, first, your inner child wants to be embraced, number one, Okay. Your inner child wants to be reparented in a nurturing and empathetic way. Um, but there may be someone else that you're not embracing in your vicinity like you should. Or that's in your radar that you should be investing in like you should. I don't know. Take it, take it how it resonates. <laughs> Truly, okay? Well, let's see what your affirmation is. And then we are getting out of here. I'm going to go eat. Okay, eat, make me a mimosa. Affirmation for pal three during Virgo season. Ooh, I love this, baby. You are seen. They're watching you. Give them a show. I love you. Mwah. Bye. Oh, I can't get it. Here we go.